Hey everyone, it's been a hot minute since the update and tips are already floating out on the interwebs. Let's check some of them out. Now let's start with the first one and the first one I'm gonna just start with the obvious one everyone is probably already working on and that is just you can make a race yes beautiful parkour but you can make a race with the new go-karts that looks not at all like this i hope it looks better if you build it yeah you can basically make a kart race and go over obstacles and stuff like that and race against your friends that is an amazing tip yes nobody knew of that already then the next tip is made by Rusty Pocket Watch. I will link his Twitter in the description if you want to follow him. You should really follow him. He has the most amazing builds in the world. And his tip is basically to make a bulletin board. So what you do is you place a painting here, you place a painting here somewhere. Shouldn't have gone for the large painting to be honest. And then you go into the wall lights and you do the horizontal border light like that. And then of course the next logical step is to go to this side right here. I made it a little bit too long. I'm gonna lower this one and copy the side one as well. And then you color your main wall in these um, dirt thingies. What's it called? Pebble. And you give it of course a cork color or maybe something more brown because I do think the cork looks a little bit strange. Linen. Let's go for linen. Linen is actually like one of the best colors in Bloxburg, isn't it? It really goes with everything. And then you paint the lights completely black. Then you go to your cork wall. Of course it is dark once again. And for the pictures you want to have a normal kind of wall color. So I'm gonna go for white this time. Just want a white canvas. And then in here, I'm, I know I made a very, very small bulletin board, but I guess it's okay. And then you can add some post-it notes and he also added some doorbells on it. So I'm gonna do that as well. And then maybe just one taped photograph, just like that. And to make this look like pins, you copy the wall color and then you give this a very bright color of choice. For example, this, gonna copy this and make this one green. And there we go, we have our own little bulletin board. This looks amazing. Thank you so much, Rusty, for sharing that with us. That is one amazing tip. Then the next tip, of course, has to do with the white full painting or just the full wall painting. They are just amazing. I can't get over them. So what you wanna do is you wanna go to a photo editor. Nope. First, you have to check the size. So 1000 by 1200. So I'm gonna create a new file that is 1000 by 1200. Resolution a little bit lower because my picture is a very low quality. There we go. And then I downloaded this window and oh my God, the quality is so bad. But you can draw out your own grid if you want to. I was just a little too lazy to do that. So I went and looked for a window seal. And then you want to make sure it is like the right size. So I'm gonna just size it a little bit and I hope it still looks quite okay. This can pass. And I'm gonna look for a picture of a field or something like that. But why is it all people in here? This is 1200 by 800. So we can kind of squeeze it in there. And I'm so sorry for being a bit toned down, but I have to be a little bit quiet because some people are sleeping and I just decided to make this video now, so good idea of me. I loaded this picture into my photo editor and now I'm gonna just drag it and drop it to where I want it to be. And I'm gonna put it right behind this window right here. And then of course, I'm gonna make sure that it fits right in. So I kind of do want this view and then I'm gonna be putting in a little gradient just to give it some extra shadow. So I'm gonna go to gradient and then I need to transparent one. Yes, thank you very much. So I want some gradient coming from the top and then from the bottom as well. And now of course we're gonna save that. And then of course the same as usual and I just died because I saw the sheep once again. <laughs> But you're gonna choose your file, you're gonna load it in, and then you're gonna load it in Bloxburg. So I have now created my decal. I'm gonna copy the ID right here. And then once in Bloxburg, I'm gonna paste this ID right in this full height picture frame. Wow, I just, wow. Oh no, it is still under review. Normally you can like put it in there, but okay, it worked. So this is our full window. You can also do that with other paintings, of course, but it seemed nice to have like a full window floor to ceiling just looking like that. Like if you want your house to be a little closed in like that, you can obviously do that with full privacy and still having kind of like a view. And to add some touches to it, you can add some pillars on the side to make it look more like a real window and give it some depth, of course. And there you go, you got a full window wall with a full privacy. This could also be amazing in your basements, obviously. Then a next tip, and this one comes from 
Kerlistle. I'm so sorry if I pronounce that wrongly, but she made a tip on a very nice thing you can do on your walls. And I'm gonna link her Twitter in the description as well because she deserves some credit for it. And basically what she did, it's very, very simple. She created these string lights and then she added some of these clip-on paintings, which is a very easy thing to do, but it, it just looks so nice. And you can hang some pictures of your friends or whatever, their, their Roblox characters, you can hang them on the wall like that. I feel like that is just a nice idea. I have no friends, so I'm just gonna be adding in some plant pictures in here. <laughs> so there we go. And if you add a nice little closet or something underneath it, it will just look so bougie. Is that what you guys say? <laughs> with of course a little plant on the shelf as well. And I feel like this is just so cozy. And then of course a very obvious one as well is that you can make full wall art pieces with these new painting frames. So if you want to do that, you could just uh, create a wall like this. And the thing is you don't have to like match them up and they don't stick through the wall anymore. So you could just easily create a full wall with a material that you like or even a picture that you cut up in pieces. I have videos on how to do that. Maybe this is not the best material because you can see where the gap is. I found another one that I like a little bit better so I'm just gonna pick that one but yes you get the point and you could just create your own little decals and use them as wallpaper so basically technically you can create your own wallpaper if you really want to do that so that is one amazing thing to have right now. And then another one that I saw many times on Twitter so I don't know who to credit for this one but if this is your ID then the credit goes to you. I'm so sorry for having to do it this way but yeah they all popped up at once and I don't really know who was the original creator of the idea. But basically you can use these wall tiles right here to create a soundproof recording room. So that's what I'm making right now. And the material I'm going to go for, probably this carpet, I will paint it purple. And then I'll go for the softer carpet right here and paint that like dark stone gray or something like that. And then I'll just copy that color over. And then of course you want the rest of the wall to be like <laughs> recording room-ish. I'm gonna lower these tiles just a little bit. Gonna see where I get with these. And then of course we need some fancy desk to create videos at. So I'm just gonna put that one here with the office chair behind it. And as you can see, you just created your own recording studio basically with the soundproof walls. <laughs> And then of course you can use these tiles wherever you want, if you want them in your kitchen, if you want them in your bedroom, if you want to make whatever picture into a decal and use that as your wall, then that is just amazing. And then of course, just for some ideas, I'm gonna be placing a desk against the wall. And I saw this pass on Twitter as well and I forgot who it was by. I'm so sorry, I'm so bad at these, but I'm really trying to give credit where I can and sometimes I just look at something I'm like, yeah, that's nice, but probably not gonna use that. And then, yeah, I think about it and then I use it and, and I'm like, okay, but who made this again? And this is one of those moments, but yes. And right next to the desk, gonna put some small end tables and I'm gonna put a technology TV stand inside that table as well. And of course you want to paint it in a color that you want and a material. And as you can see, you can paint the outside and the inside of the painting to whatever you want to have. And if you paint them white and black, it just gives a really nice contrast. But I think I'm gonna use the color of the wall. This is just a nice view to have as well. Like if you use the same color as a wall, it kind of looks a little like this and it just creates some coziness to your house. Of course, you can add some plants and stuff like that. It's not really a tip, but I just wanted to show you things that you can do because this is quite the useful one as well. Okay, I, I looked a bit and I found who this idea was from. It's from Zeph win and I'm gonna link their Twitter in the description as well. And I created a small kitchen just so that I can show you what the decals would look like in a kitchen. I did it in the last video. I just made a video about decals. Yes, I regret that. So again, you want to pick a material. I want some old bricks in my kitchen and I don't find anything I like. So I will just go on the internet and look for a brick wall that I want. So I do like this one. It's a little bit aged and, and it has some dark spots on it. That is the one that I was looking for. And there we go. I have a brick kitchen now. My kitchen does not match this at all so I would probably pick something else then again but I'm so hard to please with this it, it is my fault <laughs> but yes this is basically what you can do with these full wall decals you can also create massive murals with cut up pictures and stuff like that but I'm just very happy that we got all of these so basically you can do a lot with the new update you just have to find things out thank you so much don't forget to check everyone out in the description who helped me make this video and gave me inspiration to do this thank you so much for watching Hit that like button and please subscribe.